In the quiet hours of the night, a strange occurrence unfolded, a mystery that would shake the core of my very being. A peculiar ticking, rhythmic and relentless, began to echo through the vast emptiness of my secluded abode. Each tick, each talk, resonated like a chilling whisper from beyond the veil of reality, disturbing the silence of my solitude. For days I had been nestled in the deep wilderness, far from the hustle and bustle of modern life, seeking refuge in the tranquil embrace of nature. My only companions were the towering pines that stood sentinel around my modest dwelling, their needle-like leaves whispering secrets to the wind. But this ticking, this incessant beat, it was a foreign intruder, an unwanted guest that had breached the sanctity of my seclusion. The source of the sound remained elusive. I scoured every corner of my humble abode, from the cobweb-infested attic to the damp, musty cellar, yet found nothing. The ticking continued, growing louder with each passing moment, its rhythm now a relentless drumbeat against the canvas of my sanity. Days turned into nights and nights into days, yet there was no respite from the ominous ticking. Sleep became a distant memory, an elusive dream that slipped away with each tick and each talk. The sound was everywhere, in the rustling leaves, the howling wind, the crackling fire. It was in my mind, a phantom melody that had taken a firm hold of my thoughts. In my desperate quest for silence, I ventured out into the wilderness, away from the confines of my dwelling. But the ticking followed, a haunting echo that resonated through the silent forest, a cruel reminder of my inescapable torment. A chilling realization dawned upon me, the source of the ticking, it was not my surroundings, but it was within me. It was my own heartbeat, a constant reminder of my mortality, a relentless metronome of my fleeting existence. But then, another twist of fate, as shocking as the first. A sudden silence descended upon me, the ticking had ceased, a moment of relief, of tranquility, until I felt my chest, my heart, there was no beat. The ticking was my heartbeat, and now, it was gone. And so, I stand here, in the heart of the wilderness, a specter lost in time, recounting this chilling tale. The silence is deafening, the absence of the ticking, a haunting reminder of my lost mortality. But the question remains, if my heart no longer beats, how am I still here, narrating this tale of horror and mystery? Perhaps, dear listener, the answer lies not in the realm of the living, but in the realm of the spectral, the ethereal, the otherworldly. A realm beyond our comprehension where the ticking of a heart is not a prerequisite for existence, but merely a reminder of a life once lived. A realm where I now dwell, forever haunted by the silence of my own heartbeat.